I'm here with Kevin Olsen, who has a secret identity in the nether regions of the Webernet. Hi, Kevin. Hi, how you doing? So this whole thing is your fault? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, tell, us, um, tell us about it and what's going on here today and why all these people are here. Well, me and Chris Abad, the owner of the gallery, which is 20 go to 10, are representing ANSI artwork from the late 80s to the mid 90s. It was mainly found on underground BBSs. Mm -hmm. um, I picked two. And what is BBS? BBSs are bulletin board systems. Before the internet was popular, you would use BBSs to communicate with people, download files over phone lines. And that, in, that meant you would dial a phone number or that your computer would dial a phone number? would dial a phone number and connect to another computer over a phone line using modems. Okay. Yeah. What is ANSI art and how would one go about making it? ANSI artwork is artwork that was created using um, text characters that were the higher extended ASCII set. They were the characters that you cannot type on your keyboard that you have to use like alt and a three-digit number to hit them. Some of them were blocks, solid blocks, half blocks, shaded blocks. Those combined with the 16 colors that you could use, they would type out a picture, uh, first using like DOS Edit or now later on using the program called the Draw, and uh, type it all out to make like a picture and a logo. They became popular because BBSs liked to have them to make the BBS look better, look more valid, look more genuine. And um, they would mainly be like all over the BBS or just a scroller that would you would see when you would log in. Tell us about some of the, the artwork that we see here. So these were scrollers that uh, Chris Abad mainly had. We got the boards that are actually parallax microcontroller boards that were hooked up by uh, Joe Grand. Mm -hmm. um, we had our friend Jason Snell solder SD cards onto them and get us to interact with it because we didn't have enough room on the board for the ANSI file, the uh, color mapping, and the font file, and the actual code that has it scroll. So this was made specifically for your art show? Yeah, specifically for the show. We wanted to represent the art the way that people saw it back in the day. Mm -hmm. You only had 25 lines at a time to view and actually write ANSI. Mm -hmm. So not only could you only see 25 lines at a time, but the artist that would write the scroller could only draw it at 25 lines at a time. I just picked, I first found the two artists that were inspired me the most, which were Psalms and Lord Jazz. Psalms is uh, Jeff Lindsay, he's in uh, Florida now. Lord Jazz is uh, Chris Lewis, he's now in Detroit. The smaller ones I of course made the light boxes and the ridiculous ones I made for the scrollers. That one right there that we played with is actually 511 lines. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So down here we have a lot of information. So can I like call 714-367-0251 and get uh, Lord Jazz on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. You're going to connect to the Parallax BBS and this node if you connect to you're going to get a 14400 modem. So what inspired you to have hacker art in your gallery? That's what I know best. Essentially, so I've always been interested in art, but I've also been interested in like hacking and programming. And art paid the least, and you know, hacking and programming paid the most. Which shows have you had in the past? Um, in regards to hacking, we've had like shows about voice over IP spoofing, um, some reverse engineering art shows, fruit fly gen genetic studies. <laughs> the weird thing about fruit flies is like they could get into anywhere and they could right. teleport out of their jars. So, are any of these your wares BBS? No. None of them are my Wares BBS. My Wares BBS does not have nearly as awesome and elite art as this. It's really sad. Hi, I'm here with Doug Moore, and he actually flew in from DC just to see this exhibit. And you run a website that's dedicated to ANSI. Yes. Um, it's called 16colors.net. Yes. It's basically it attempts to have every single Art, piece of artwork that was produced by art groups from 1991 through this past year. There's over 4,000 packs on there, which is total about 200,000 images that are all. You know. You're a little obsessive about this. Uh, it doesn't take that much work by me. Everybody else uploads the files. They're all already out there, and I just dumped them all in one place and made it easier for people to get to them. So I'm here with an attendee of the art show. What do you think about this art? Um, it reminds me of like an old Nintendo set, you know, but like porno Nintendo, okay. like on drugs. <laughs>